This is spaghetti alla carrettiera, an ancient Sicilian pasta. It's the marriage between spaghetti agli olio and cacio e pepe. Oh, and this is what you get. Amazing. Come on, let's make it together. Mm. 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 To make spaghetti alla carrettiera, Sicilian style, we need 300 grams of spaghetti and today I chose the spaghettone quadrato, the thick square spaghetti, the one I love for carbonara. A nice bunch of chopped parsley, three or four cloves of garlic, I would say two per person, oh yeah. Two hot peppers, chili, very hot, okay? About four, five, six, seven tablespoons of pecorino, grated pecorino romano. You choose how much you want. And breadcrumbs. I'm gonna make breadcrumbs today with stale bread. Last but not least, extra virgin olive oil, the most important ingredient of the recipe. Now the first thing we wanna do is to create the breadcrumbs and toss the crumbs. Otherwise, you can buy the breadcrumbs already done. Here's what we do. Stale bread, put it in a blender, just like this. Make it as small as you can, so it's easier to get the crumbles. And let's get the breadcrumbs. You want to do this for a few minutes very well, and this is what you get. Nice, fine breadcrumbs. Fresh breadcrumbs made in no time. Now we want to make the breadcrumb crispy, very crispy. So what we're going to do, we toast it. So extra virgin olive oil, about three tablespoons. And now we go crazy with the breadcrumb. Here we go. Now the breadcrumbs, we want to spread them around. The pan is nice and hot. And in within minutes, we are going to toss this, which is what's gonna go on the pasta. We're gonna use this like a pecorino. This is the, gonna become the cheaper version of pecorino, the cousin of pecorino. Great for anyone who is lactose intolerant. Do you understand? what real, simple, genuine flavors are. This, just bread that we are tossed. I'm gonna put some more extra virgin olive oil, just because. See guys, see when it changes the color, look how it becomes. Nice, dark brown. Let's try if it's, if it's ready. Mmm, the mudiga, it's a turrada. As you can see, the breadcrumbs are nice and crunchy and perfectly ready to go on the final dish. Now we're gonna use them to top the dish once it's ready. This is gonna be the topping, the final touch to the dish. Now we wanna cut the hot chili flakes nice and thin. These are very hot, guys. The seeds are the strong ones. The seeds is the dangerous part. So the more seeds, the more spicy. The pasta water is boiling. What we need to do now is we need to put one tablespoon of rock salt or sea salt. Now the spaghetti are about to go in. The spaghetti takes 10 minutes to cook, okay? So I'm gonna cook them for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we can prepare the sauce. Yes, make sure the spaghetti are immersed in there. As here now we have the most important part. Now here we're gonna make the sauce and the sauce is served raw. We don't cook it, okay? So we need a large amount of extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is everything. Six, seven, eight tablespoons. You need to go crazy with the extra virgin olive oil. Now here we add the two or three or four cloves of garlic. Here I already chopped the garlic. Here we put the hot chili. You put as much as you like. A little bit of parsley. Just a nice amount of parsley. Now we need to emulsify everything. We want all these ingredients 
to get to know each other. We want this to become creamy in a way. So we want the oil to become creamy, you know? Emul emulsion, emulsion. I don't know how to pronounce it. Emulsion, very important. All the ingredients to combine very well together. The extra virgin olive oil is introducing the ingredients to each other. Now with the garlic, you can crush it, you can uh, finally, finally chop it, or you can chop it the way I did. You really want to feel, you want to taste the garlic here. This is raw. I'm going to add just a little touch of pecorino, okay? Just in there. Just to make it a little bit creamier. Just a little touch, a little bit more. <laughs> now it's creamy, just the way I want it. Look at that. Yes. Pecorino love. Dun, 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 dun. We love your pecorino. This is beautiful. Pecorino Romano. If Tupac was Italian, the California love song would go like this. Pecorino love. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> See guys, this is what we want. Extra virgin olive oil and garlic, chili, parsley, and just a touch of pecorino. And this is what you get. Now, we are about to put the spaghetti in here and the spaghetti are gonna swim in this beautiful sauce. Raw sauce, this is not cooked. All right guys, the spaghetti are ready. Here we go, see? So now what we want to, what we want to do now, we get a mug of pasta water because we might need it. Now we're gonna put the pasta straight in the raw sauce here, look, just like that. Now use two forks and we just wanna move this around. Here we go, look, the spaghetti. I'm making love right now with all the ingredients. Look at that, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. Bellissimo, bellissimo. Now this is what we're going to do. We're going to add some pasta water, just a little touch. Nice, generous amount of pecorino cheese, just like that. Some parsley. And we mix. We mix all the ingredients. Now we add more extra virgin olive oil. Generous amount. Now we mix. Look how creamy this is. Look how wonderful and creamy. I just want you to have a look. The pasta water plays such an important role. So here we go, more pasta water. Keep mixing. And can you see the beautiful creamy here that we have? That cream here is made by the pasta water mixed with the extra virgin olive oil and all our beautiful ingredients. Look, look what we got here. Look what we got. A mix of spaghetti aglio olio and cacio e pepe. When cacio e pepe and spaghetti aglio olio e peperoncino meet. Oh, now we need to serve this wonderful, 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 creamy pasta. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Look in here. See, I want to get the cream that you find here. See this? The emulsion goes right on top, just like that. Guys, now is the time for the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs everywhere. Just be generous with the breadcrumbs. Bellissimo. Super crunchy breadcrumbs. Yeah. The final touch now is the extra virgin olive oil. 
una spolveratina of parsley. Spaghetti alla carrettiera for you, ladies and gentlemen. Seasoning in a plate. The best time of the video recipe. Time to try this beautiful pasta alla carrettiera. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's creamy, mmm. So creamy, thanks to the pecorino. So crunchy, thanks to the breadcrumbs. And so spicy. Oh my God, thanks to the hot chili pepper. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful. Honestly, this is a spaghetti aglio olio on steroid. Oh, cacio e pepe with the kick. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's something you guys must try right now. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love it so much, and I want you to love it as much as I do. This, it's a marvelous pasta. I'm gonna say it. I'm going to put this in the top 10 best pastas ever. This, it's a marvelous creation. Thank you, Cecily, for bringing this into my kitchen. It's now time for you to make it. I'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Here, from this paradise. Mm -hmm.